Good morning everyone and welcome to this new video about how to import meshes using Python. This video is using some functions created in the video how to import simple assets. The link is in the description. Comparatively to textures and sound, there's way more options when importing meshes. So we will create two new functions to edit these options. First, for the static mesh, we will start by creating an object of type fbx import UI and name it options. Then we will need to use the property import mesh for the mesh to be imported. The properties import textures and materials, let us choose if we want to import them. Also, we need to tell Unreal that the resulting mesh should not be a skeletal mesh. Now that the basic variables are set, we can now go through the fbx import variables. Inside static mesh import data, we can edit the transform. Thanks to translation and rotation, we can now see our first examples of vector and rotator in Python. It's now time to edit the variable specific to static mesh import. Combined meshes, generate light map UV and auto generate collisions are some examples. But it is of course possible to edit all the options available inside the UI when importing FBX manually. Now that we did our static mesh, we will quickly go through the skeletal mesh function. Import mesh, texture and material are still there. But this time it is important to specify that we want the result to be a skeletal mesh. Then there is the transform and finally the skeletal mesh properties. We can now test. To do so, I will need to edit the build import task function and make it assign the tasks options. I will also add an input to pass the desired options because they are different if the mesh is a skeletal mesh or a static mesh. Finally, I can create my tasks using the fbx path, the folder inside the content browser and the options coming from our new functions. And then call execute import tasks using these tasks. Copy my tree line to execute the code in Unreal and then press enter. We now have a skeletal mesh and a static mesh in our project. We can see that they have their materials and even that the static mesh is rotated the way I ask in the option. But it is not possible to edit the options and then simply ask Unreal to re-import them because they are now saved inside the asset. For the options to be taken into account, we need to delete the asset and then run the import script again. Or go take a look at the re-import options, but I'm keeping that for later. Voila, that's it for this video. In the next one, I will explore the import of animations. For now, I'm going back to work and I'll see you in the next video.